question 31 uh, kind of brings together a couple of different things we have to think about. Um, basically, we have to, first thing I would start with is what is the reaction we're being asked about? I've got a 0.225 molar solution of magnesium chloride added to a aqueous solution of silver nitrate. Um, how much of that magnesium chloride do I have to add to precipitate all the silver cations? So uh, our reaction is going to look something like this. Magnesium chloride aqueous uh, is going to react with or be added with silver nitrate. So AgNO3 aqueous to produce silver chloride solid um, and magnesium nitrate. So let's see, to balance this equation out, I would need to put a two here um, and I'd need to put a two here. And then I've got a balanced chemical equation, so I need to react, I need to add uh, magnesium chloride to the silver nitrate. It's gonna produce solid silver chloride and then the spectator ions, uh, magnesium and nitrate. So how much of this solution do I have to add to get all of that silver to precipitate from solution? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find out how many moles of silver do I have in solution? So I have a 0.25 molar solution, which is moles right? The molarity is moles per liter. And of that solution, I have 0 0.0375 liters of that solution, right? If I did the unit conversion, 37.5 milliliters, I know that I have a thousand milliliters in one liter. So divide that by a thousand, 0 0.0375 liters. So how many moles of silver do I have in this 37.5 milliliter solution? I have approximately 0 0.009375 moles of silver. And looking at the equation, right, for every one mole of silver, I'm gonna need one mole of chloride uh, to precipitate that out. So how much magnesium chloride, right, am I going to need? Well, I know I've got 0 0.009375 moles of silver. And if I look at the balanced equation for every one mole of magnesium chloride, because of that one to two ratio, I know I'm going to need two we're gonna have two moles of silver for every one mole of the magnesium chloride, just from the ratio in the balanced reaction. So that means I'm gonna need 0 0.004688 moles of magnesium chloride. I'm gonna to have to add to this solution. Um, I know, again, I know molarity is moles per liter. I know my molarity, my molarity is 0.225, and I know I need 0 0.00468 moles of magnesium chloride, so X is my volume. So I'll multiply and then I'll divide to get a volume of approximately 0 0.02, 0.8 liters or 20.8 milliliters that I'd have to add to solution. So we had to do a few calculations there, um, basically find out how many moles of silver we had in this solution given the volume and the concentration. And then once we found how many moles of silver we had in solution, uh, we use the stoichiometry from the balance chemical equation to relate moles of silver to moles of magnesium chloride that it'd have to add. Um, because there are, they're in that one to two ratio, um, I use that to find the moles of magnesium chloride that I'd have to add to solution. Once I knew that, I could take the concentration 
of my magnesium chloride solution and find what volume I would need to take for that.